हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ नेक्स्ट डेरिवेशन वील सी इज कैंटी लिवर विथ अ पॉइंट लोड नॉट एट द फ्री एंड हियर द डब्ल्यू लोड दिस इज अ कैंटी लिवर बीन विथ अ फिक्सड एंड फ्री एंड ए बी सी एट अ बी डब्ल्यू इज एक्टिंग विच इज एट अ डिस्टेंस ए फ्रॉम द फिक्सड एंड टोटल लेंथ इज एल सो दिस इज एल माइनस ए दिस डिस्टेंस नाउ अंडर दिस लोडिंग कंडीशन ए टू बी पार्ट विल डिफ्लेक्ट विल हैव अ करवेचर and the part b1 c1 that is bc part will remain straight because no any load is acting it will just move its position so this is straight so in this case if i draw a tangent it will be in line with this line it will be theta p so there is only one theta here there is no like two thetas so this theta and this theta is same because it is a same line which is being extended here you will get two deflections that is under the load at a b position it is yb at at c it is yc yc is greater than yb and that is equivalent to amount this of this triangle this part c c1 is equal to yb so if you understand this triangle then it is very easy to find the deflection and the slope now uh, it was given here theta b is equal to theta c now as part bc is straight we, uh, deflection the slope is same so we have to find first as this and this is same we'll consider this as a cantilever with a w load acting at the free end and we'll find the theta which will be equal to this when this will happen only when this is straight so we know the formula we have derived the formula for a slope when the point load is at the free end that is it is w a square upon 2 ei we have derived this so directly you can take it theta b or theta c is equal to w a square upon 2 ei i have drawn the figure for ab part of the beam now deflection at b deflection at b also we have derived we can directly write w a cube upon 3 ei you might have written a as x okay we have derived it in the previous video so now the deflection at c how to find the deflection at c deflection at c for that you need to draw this triangle this triangle i have drawn it here b this is the point where it is intersecting the beam c y b c c1 c2 total is y c theta b theta b this is y b this is l minus a now from this triangle that is b1 c1 c2 if i take tan theta which is equal to theta b tan theta b this theta b is very small so tan theta b i can take is equal to theta b opposite upon adjacent opposite is c c1 adjacent is b1 c1 now c c1 i have to find what is this b1 c1 is l minus a which i have written it here so this i have written is very small c1 c2 becomes theta b into l minus a means the length of this is equal to angle into this distance so from this now total yc is how much total yc is yb plus cc1 here it is written yc is yb plus cc1 yc yb we know we have written it w a cube upon 3 ei plus what is cc1 theta b l minus a theta b l minus a that is yc is yb plus theta b l minus a write all the values of this yb we know theta b we have calculated so the total deflection at c is w a cube upon 3 ei plus w a square upon 2 ei into l minus a here this is the deflection deflection due to b and this is deflection due to at the c point so it is theta into l minus a the next case will consider the udl the similar way will consider udl a cantilever beam with a udl over the entire span over the entire span a from the fixed end now here the udl is from the fixed end and not to the entire span like a w load acting it here a b c it will also deflect here it is curvature but here it is straight like the previous case same diagram i have drawn it is similar to the previous case here it is straight it is curved theta b theta c both are same and 
सो आई कैन राइट इट हियर थीटा बी थीटा सी इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू ए क्यूब अपॉन सिक्स सी आई फॉर अ यू डी एल वी हैव डिराइव इट द थीटा डिफ्लेक्शन एट बी विल बी डब्ल्यू ए फोर अपॉन ए टी आई द ऑर्डर इंक्रीजेज सिक्स चेंजेस टू एट वी नो दिस नाउ हाउ टू फाइंड वाई सी दिस वाई सी इज इक्वल टू सी सी वन प्लस सी वन सी टू सो दिस वी नो इट इज इक्वल टू वाई बी प्लस दिस थीटा बी इंटू एल माइनस ए सो फ्रॉम द सेम ट्राइंगल टेन थीटा थीटा सी और थीटा बी यू कैन कॉल इट इज इक्वल टू अपोजिट अपॉन एडजस्टेंट विच आई हैव रिटर्न आई कैन टेक टेन थीटा इज ओनली थीटा सी सी वन बाई एल बाई ए सो डिफ्लेक्शन एट सी इज नथिंग बट सी सी वन प्लस सी वन सी टू विच इज इक्वल टू वाई सी इज नथिंग बट वाई बी प्लस थीटा बी इंटू एल माइनस ए दैट इज वाई सी इज डब्ल्यू ए रेस टू फोर ए टी आई प्लस डब्ल्यू ए क्यूब अपॉन सिक्स सी आई इंटू एल माइनस ए ऑलवेज सी दैट वेन यू आर फाइंडिंग द डिफ्लेक्शन एट द फ्री एंड ड्यू टू सम लोड और यू डी एल फॉर सम पार्ट ऑफ द स्पैन देन फर्स्ट फाइंड फॉर दिस डिफ्लेक्शन देन एड इट टू देन यू हैव टू एड इट टू द रेस्ट ऑफ द स्पैन एंड थीटा ऑफ इट थीटा ऑफ दैट स्पैन इन दिस वे एवरी टाइम यू कैन फाइंड द डिफ्लेक्शन सी द लास्ट केस कैंटिलीवर कैंटिलीवर विथ यू डी एल ओवर सम स्पैन फ्रॉम फ्री एंड नाउ हियर द यू डी एल ईज यू डी एल ईज फ्रॉम द फ्री एंड फॉर सम डिस्टन्स नाव सिमिलर वे आई हेव टेकन ए हियर दिस इज एल माइनस ए टोटल इज एल If you take this as a, it will be slightly confusing. So I will take a, and this is l minus a. So here now, no any part will be straight. This will be also curvature. This will be also curvature due to this load. You can't tell this as straight and this as curvature, or vice versa. It is all curvature. So this problem cannot be solved as it is. We have to convert it in this form, where U D L total span of U D L is acting downward. and for this part it is acting upward against the gravity so this figure minus this figure you will get this figure so we know the calculations of formulas for this and this so from this we can derive for this type of problem so no other way you have to convert this into such a type of problem only it is applicable when the udl is from the free end for the fixed end we have seen how to calculate it so for this case theta this minus this will be theta here so i have written it slope at c slope at c is slope due to udl this minus slope due to this udl moving upward so slope due to this we have calculated it is total l w l cube by 6 ei minus w a cube upon 6 ei this is a distance only if you minus this you will get the theta deflection is also same deflection at c is equal to deflection due to udl which is moving downward and deflection due to this udl moving upward so deflection due to this we know it is w l raised to 4 a t i now l cube becomes l4 c becomes 8 for this minus now for this is some part of the span it is similar to this problem but it is moving downward this is moving upward so you have taken minus sign so same formula i will write it here this whole bracket w a 4 a t i plus w a cube 6 e i l minus a here this is theta this is theta and this is l minus a distance and this is deflection due to this span of the u d l these are the seven derivations which are required if it is asked in the you need to write the derivation in the exam if it is asked thank you